guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It is going to be about the ColourPop Yes Please Shadow and the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Ever since ColourPop released this Yes Please Palette, the internet and all of social media has been going crazy saying that it is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. Now, I was able to pick this up when it first came out, so I've had it for quite some time. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me use it quite a bit on my channel, or on my page, I should say. And so when I saw ColourPop releasing this one, I was like, girl, you best believe I'm getting it and I'm doing a comparison video. Now, just looking at the palettes, the colors look extremely similar. Also, just so you guys know, one eye is the ColourPop, and this is this eye on this side is the ColourPop shadows, and then this side of my face is the Natasha Denona shadows. So just to give you guys like a little comparison and see, I kind of did the colors that look most like each other, so I could really show you guys what they look like. But if you're interested in seeing if this is a dupe for a Natasha Denona palette, then let's go. The Natasha Denona palette is $129 without tax and without shipping, but shipping is free, I'm pretty sure, on any website where you spend that much money. If it's not, then you figure it out, because that's ridiculous. But yeah, this palette is $129. The packaging is freaking insane. It's a very gorgeous gold, and the back is also gold. And then when you go ahead and open the inside of the palette, you do get a mirror, and then you also have a plastic slip with the names. I know that plastic slip bothers a lot of people. I personally don't mind it. I like seeing the names. And when I do use it, it does bend back with the palette. So if I want to set it like this and then put it on my vanity, no harm, no foul, girl. This is the best. So this is what they look like, and I'll just go ahead and read you guys the shade name so you're able to see. First shade right here on the Natasha Denona palette is called Atmosphere. Second shade right here is called Cena Ice Cold Mandarin, and we have Bronze Age. Down to this one, we have Volcano. And then the shimmery here is called a Bay Horizon. Sun Days. And lastly, we have Terra. Moving on to the final row, we have Bermuda, Morgana. Red shade here is called Pangin. And then we have Igneous, I believe. I'm so bad with names, you guys. And then this beautiful yellow is Soul. So those are the shade names of the Natasha Denona Scented Palette. And you do get 15 shades in this palette. And like I said, it retails for $129. Now we're going to move on to the ColourPop packaging and the ColourPop names. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's like a matte cardboard, which I hate packaging like this because it always gets dirty. As you can see, mine already is pretty dirty. And I don't know why, but this yellow isn't showing up on camera. But the back of it looks like that with the shade names. And the shade names actually aren't listed on the palette. I will say, though, something about this palette that is pretty awesome is like this is like a velvety kind of feel and I actually don't mind that the shade names are on the back because it'll be really easy to read off to you guys here on camera. So starting with this really really pretty cream color this is the shade Bling and then next to that we have the shade Champ. Big Cocktail Full Zip. Moving on to the second row right here we have GNO, Spoiled, Butter Cake, and lastly Louie. Moving on to the third and last row, we have French Kiss, Chauffeur, Note to Sell, and Mischief right here at the end. That is what these shades look like in the ColourPop Yes Please eyeshadow palette. They're absolutely gorgeous. As you guys can tell, just looking at these, you do get a lot less product and you do get 12 shades instead of 15. So just so you're able to kind of see the size differences, in the color pop one, you get 12 shadows at um, 0.03 ounces a um, pan. And then on this Natasha Denona Sunset palette, you get 15 at 0.08, um, like, a pan. So you do get way more product in this one, but this one is only $16. So that's also something to keep in mind. Um, like I said, while at first these two palettes do look extremely, extremely similar, and while it would be really great if you wanted something like this Natasha Nona palette, I would highly recommend buying this ColourPop one just alone on the price is crazy. But as you swatch them and as you play with them, you really can tell a difference in quality. I know for me personally, when um, I was using this um, ColourPop one on this side of my face, it took me a lot longer to blend everything and get a really good like 
pay off and just make it look blended and blown out whereas when I use the Natasha Denona palette on this side it just was a lot easier to work with and the shadows were pigmented they were more buttery so that is something to keep in mind while you are only spending $16 on this palette the quality of this palette definitely shows compared to the Natasha Denona one so I am going to show you guys the shades that I used for my eyes so for the ColourPop one on this side this is the shade show fur I took the shade show fur and I buffed it in to my crease and then I decided to go in with this shade in butter cake and I took butter cake underneath my crease and I just buffed it out from then on I went ahead with this really dark shade called mischief which is the darkest shade in the palette and I took it on a really small small I took it on a really small pencil brush applied it very close to the lash line and started buffing it in and really making sure I deepened the outer V really pretty gold in note to self so I took that on a flat shader brush. I first applied it dry, but I noticed it did have too much fallout for my liking. So I went in with Fix Plus, and then I applied it to the lid where I felt like I got the most color payoff. And then I took another brush, and I kind of just blended everything together to really give a really pretty seamless and blown out effect. And then moving on to the Natasha Denona side, I first went in with this brush orange shade and this is in the shade horizon so what I did with horizon is I took it and I just went in and did it like the same as I did on the ColourPop side I put it in my crease and blended it out and then I went in with the Natasha Denona red shade which that red shade is called Pangen and I took it right into the crease but underneath the transition and slowly blended it in to just make sure everything was kind of seamless and equaling to what the color pop side was and then to really get that deep outer v effect like i did on the color pop side i went in and took the shade shade igneous i think that's how you pronounce it but it's just the darkest brown that the natasha denona palette has once again, I buffed that onto the outer V, got it very close to the lower lash line, and just started blending all the colors together. Like I said, the Natasha Denona palette quality really stood out to me. That's pretty much what sets these two palettes apart, in my opinion. And then lastly, for my all-over lid shade, I took this gorgeous shade, Mandarin, that I had never touched before. And while at first it looked perfect without any Fix Plus, I did want to give it a fair comparison or shot to the ColourPop one and I applied it with some Fix Plus and it didn't really do anything extra. Natasha Denona shallot, um, shadows that are metallic are pretty intense on their own so you don't need Fix Plus. I just did it for the sake of the video. As you can see here these are what the two palettes look like in comparison to each other and my eyes as you'll see throughout this entire video um, I really got them very close and while I really do think they are very comparable shades I wouldn't call them dupes for each other just because of the quality alone. Thoughts in this video on the two palettes. Right now I'm pretty sure both of these palettes are sold out so if you wanted to get them you can't. I know ColourPop is restocking and Natasha Denona did announce that the Sunset palette is going to be made permanent which originally it was a limited edition and it is permanent okay guys so as i'm sure you can tell by the way my makeup looks that i had to refilm this part of the video because if you follow me on instagram you would see like my computer went crazy on me and i pretty much lost some files so i'm having to refilm this part of the natasha denona and color pop yes please comparison with this makeup so like i was saying i do think you can tell a really big difference with the formula and with the quality of these shadows while this one is 129 dollars which is crazy and this one is 16 i would highly recommend you just picking up this one for 16 dollars because it pretty much is like the same exact thing while you are getting less shades and while the shades are just a touch off from each other you really can create the same look that you want with this one and this one look um in this video and I did one on each eye that you guys saw previously and a lot of you guys guessed it right and it looks so similar and a lot of you were saying that it pretty much looks like the same look so that's why I would suggest just picking this little guy up for $16 I know you do get a lot less product but who uses a full eyeshadow I've never used an entire eyeshadow in my whole life so that's also why I would say just go with this one because while it is less product <laughs> I don't really see myself using 
one of these pans completely so that's another pro to this not only that but this is smaller so it's a lot easier to travel with and you do have a really good matte and shimmer shades in here that you can create a lot of looks with the one downfall of this palette is this brown shade here at the end it's not as dark as I would like um, compared to the Natasha Denona shadow palette but it is like buildable and you can build it up to a deeper darker shade that part is done I'm just going to show you guys some finger swatches I know everyone's been doing brush swatches lately but for me personally I like finger swatches better because you can really see what the pigment undertone is I understand why people love brush swatches but for me personally in my channel I just like finger swatches so I'm going to jump into those right now I'm first going to start with the ColourPop Yes Please shadow palette and I'm taking the shade full zip and then I'm going to go in with Big Cocktails, Champs, Bling, Louie, Butter Cake, Spoiled, GNO, Mischief, Note to Self, Chauffeur, and French Kiss. So these are what all of the shades in the ColourPop Yes Please Shadow Palette look like. Like I said, you do get 12 shades in this palette. As you guys are able to see when I zoomed in with the swatches on my arm, there were a few shades that were a little bit chalky. However, I feel like a lot of eyeshadow palettes now do have a lot of kick up and are pretty chalky, which I personally don't mind because I've always done my eyeshadow before my face. But if you are the type of person who does your face first, just be careful with the shadows and understand that they will have fallout and you will just have to work around that. However, though, for $16, I don't really think there is room to complain because it is such an affordable and really good eyeshadow palette. So now I'm going to move on to the swatches of the Natasha Denona shadow palette. Just remember, like I said, there are 15 shades instead of 12. Also, you guys, just as a disclaimer, if I mispronounce any of these words, I'm sorry they are are kind of confusing so the first one is atmosphere Sinai ice gold Mandarin bronze age volcano abade horizon Sundays Terra Bermuda Morgana Hanjin igneous and soul and those were the swatches of the Natasha Denona sunset palette like I said earlier you guys to spend $16 on this palette I would highly recommend just buy it if you do have the you know extra hundred and thirty dollars just laying around the house I would highly 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 recommend buying the sunset palette the pigmentations are just insane they're so creamy they come up amazing I mean you guys are able to see it on my arm the pigment that was just one swipe Natasha Denona shadows are my favorite shadows hands down in this entire world the quality is amazing the pigments great they're so easy to work with especially if you're a beginner and I know that's a lot of money and it's a really tough pill to swallow but I swear to you guys it is worth it and I highly recommend this palette out of the three palettes I have by her the sunset palette is by far my favorite it's the most versatile it's a really grab and go palette in my opinion not only that but the red and the yellow those colors are insane and to get such strong pigment out of those colors is crazy I know you guys have seen some of my looks on Instagram using those and I'm just I'm in awe with this palette so yeah that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed the review the comparison the little mini tutorial and of course the swatches at the end of both of these palettes go ahead and let me know which one you're going to buy down below in the comments and let's see which one is more popular in your opinion and which one you guys liked better Subscribe, give this video a thumbs up leave me your thoughts and comments down below and I will see you guys later bye guys